Hi, my name is Brandon McElwain and I'm the Marketing Director here at State Tech and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of State Tech Talks. Attention students, graduation is nearly here. Ready or not, commencement for 2023. The event will take place on Saturday, May 13th inside the State Tech Activity Center. There will be three separate commencement activities at 9 a.m., noon, and 3 p.m. To see what time your program graduates, just head to statetechmo.edu slash commencement and congratulations to you all. Now it's time to meet Joshua Gibson, a recent graduate from our State Tech Electronics Engineering Technology Program. Josh is now enjoying an amazing job with Johnson Controls. You can be our next State Tech success story. My name is Josh Gibson, a recent graduate from State Tech Electronics Program. I work at Johns Controls and I do what I love every single day. Due to industry demand, our electronics engineering program is adding another section of students this fall. And seats are filling up fast. There are still a few seats available for this amazing program in the fall, so apply today at statetechmo.edu. So what is a State Tech Champion? It's someone who lives our mission of profitable employment in a life of learning, and they're dedicated to our students in the well-being of the college. Someone that goes the extra mile for our students, staff, and alumni. Someone that always has the best interest of the college in mind and goes above and beyond to make State Tech simply a better place. Why should you nominate a State Tech Champion? Well, we want to recognize the overachievers who truly make State Tech the employer's choice. So to nominate someone, please head to statetechmo.edu backslash champion. Attention students looking for a place to live, the Holt Summit Fire Protection District is offering State Tech students free housing. Now that is in return for 30 hours per month as a volunteer firefighter. Last year, they had around four State Tech students take them up on this amazing offer. We also have a congrats to pass out to our eSports players. Congrats to the following, Lucas Tobin. He is a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player for the State Tech eSports team. He placed second in his group during the regular season and was in the playoffs. So congratulations to him. Also congrats to Joel Vaughn. He is a Mario Kart player. He placed fifth in his group and also went to the postseason. Congrats and good luck to you guys the remainder of this season and next season. If you are graduating this spring, the State Tech Testing Center wants to remind you to be sure that you complete all of your required testing for graduation. And if you have any questions, please stop by the testing center on the first floor of the ITC. And now it's time for our weekly State Tech Employee Spotlight. So this week, we get to meet Kim Hicks from our business office. Question one, if you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? She says, any Game of Thrones Targaryen character, as long as she could ride a dragon, but avoid any arranged marriages. Question two, what's your favorite indoor or outdoor activity? She said, rock hunting, AKA dinosaur bone hunting. It is my dream to find one, but I'd simply be happy with a cool arrowhead. Question three, what three traits define you? She said, sarcastic, curious, and loyal. Next, what's the coolest or most important trend that she sees today? She says, minimalist living. I believe in collecting memories and moments, not stuff. And we have a second spotlight this week. Next, it's Stephanie Higginbotham from our Academic Affairs Office here at State Tech. Question one, if you could learn to do anything, what would it be? She said, photography. If you could be any fictional character, who would she choose? She said, Katniss Everdeen. Question three, what is your favorite indoor or act outdoor activity? She said, watching my children play the sports they love. Question four, what advice do you have for kids who are struggling in school? She says, use every resource available to you and don't be afraid to ask for guidance whenever you need it. Well, that is a wrap for this week, and guess what? We'll see you back here soon.